here's our next presentation. We're going to look at the landforms of the main ridge, primary ridge, and primary valley. So let's look at this next layer of topography, and that is the shape or the landform. Now, in the previous sandbox presentation, I mentioned the work of P.A. Yeomans, the developer of the key line design system, on which a lot of permaculture strategies are based. I also want to mention the work of my teacher, Darren Doherty, of the Regrarians, who's brought key line design into the modern age. Now, a lot of what I have to say in this presentation comes from his teachings and interpretation of the key line design system. So we're going to start at the top of the system where we find the highest water dividing line, which P.A. Yeomans termed the main ridge. So that's this main ridge right here that I'm going to rain on because it's just so dang fun. This uppermost ridge is the spine of the landscape and divides one watershed of higher order streams with another. So on the back side of this dividing line here, this water is flowing down into another watershed. And on this side of the ridge dividing line, all of this water is flowing into the watershed that I've presented to you. Coming off the main ridge are the arms of the spine, or as yeomans term them, the primary ridges. Right? Here, here, and here. Now, I prefer to call them the spine and the arms because it kind of makes more sense to my mind than main and primary, but the thing to understand about this is that the spine at one scale is the arm at another. If I'm looking at this whole landscape, and then this is the main ridge or the spine, and these are the primary ridges or the arms, right? But I can zoom in to this primary ridge right here, and this can be the spine, and I can also have the arms of primary ridges coming off of this one. So you see, now at this scale, suddenly this is a main ridge, and now these are the primary ridges and the primary valleys. So it's really a fractal that the definition of main ridge, primary ridge, the spine, the arms really shifts as you change your perspective and how zoomed in you are on a particular part of the landscape. And so if we're just looking at this area here, then this is the spine and these are the arms. So the labels change as you change scales of perspective. If you just look at a map of the ridges, you'll see that this is the same pattern as the water drainage lines, but a mirror image. Like these are branches of water drainage lines coming together with the main ridge having the same basic pattern in the landscape, mirror image as the main drainage way with its branches coming off as we saw during the last presentation. The whole point of looking at the ridges or hydrological divides is to be able to break up each into a land unit of management. So each set of arms of the primary ridges encompass a valley, right? And these valleys are called the primary valleys. Now each primary valley is its own hydrologic unit, a self-contained watershed, right? This line here identifies the ridges and only the water that falls within these ridge lines is going to flow down into our valley. It's a self-contained watershed. And this right here is a separate self-contained watershed. And these become uh, land management units. So ideally, property lines or divisions of landscape management would follow these lines. So each farm or village of a neighborhood has control over the water cycle from the top to the bottom of its watershed. This is the reason why we map the watershed of our design sites as part of this course. This is how we determine the best management for each of these zones. On our next sandbox presentation later on in the course, we're going to start to add design layers so we learn how to respond to landform.